You know, when you uh, dare to um, freely express your inner thoughts, um, you risk coming under scrutiny and criticism from people. And, uh, and that's not, not a very enjoyable experience. You know, when you place that in the context of interpersonal relationships and you're not just typing words, exchanging words on the internet, where it's impersonal, when you do it face to face, you feel the, the energy of that, of how it's challenging energy, right? It, and criticism um, projects the energy of um, oh, how shall I put it? That you're wrong. It can project the energy of um, you don't know anything. Often people will ridicule you. That is a continuing form of trauma, actually, that um, strengthens the childhood trauma that uh, we experienced as children. When our parents or our peers would ridicule us and shame us and laugh at us, criticize us, all um, emotions that made us feel not very good about ourselves, not very good in our own skin. And that is what most of us as adults carry with us now in the subconscious. There's a subconscious feeling of not liking ourselves. Um, of um, fighting actually within ourselves, creating that inner dissonance. And that is then projected outwardly in the need of having to argue with people, criticize people. Um, you know, it's very subtle. You think you are just, you know, doing and being what every human being does. Um, but every human being had that kind of childhood. One should say, not everyone, but most human beings have that kind of childhood where they experience ridicule. And that makes your soul shrink back. It makes you shrink. You put on this hard shell of aggressiveness, defensiveness, you challenge everything, right? Because you are you're look you're you're trying to find a reason to be. And the person that you are in the subconscious you don't like because that sentiment was formed by the childhood abuse. And so there is always this dissonance, this this discontent with ourselves, and then we express that discontent with other people through criticism, through uh, fights, arguments, the need to be right, the need to be validated, right? This need to be validated goes back again to the childhood event. If you can remember, recall the moment when you were first ridiculed. That is really where your contention is. That is where you want to be validated where you want to be right, right? But because that's now so far in the past, you bring that you bring that memory and that event to the present. And that is what makes you have arguments with everyone because you're still seeking for the validation of that initial um, moment, that initial 
experience. That little child needs, still seeks validation, and you need to make that unconscious uh, behavior conscious so you can now rationally give yourself that validation without having to keep arguing with people to, um, to have them give you something that they're not even aware of what you're looking for, right? It's not that you need to be Mr. Know-it-all. You just want to have a little bit of acknowledgement because your core self was decimated in those early years. Ridicule is so cruel and uh, it's, uh, its fingerprints follow us for the rest of our lives of that uh, vibration. We feel ashamed of ourselves and within ourselves. And it's just a really low vibration. Anyways, does that make sense? Does any of this make sense? So if you come and criticize me for simply allowing myself to express what I'm feeling and thinking, and that doesn't sit right with you, I mean, that does really have nothing to do with me saying anything right or wrong. It's, it's really you seeking that subconscious validation for your little child. You have to make peace with yourself. Right? You have to make peace with yourself, and then you can have peace with people like myself and other people. You don't always have to make everything into a contention.